spot's right here. Oh, come on, I just ended school, man! Well, you have summer school because you failed all your grades. But What? That's, that's crap! What you... you have the most missing assignments from history, so today you will be doing history. Oh my gosh! Okay, so are you my teacher now? The principal is here. Would you like me to contact him? Fire away, teacher! Strike one. <laughs> that's the strike one. Alright, so, open your notebook, and write down these no notes. I want you to write on top of your paper, what will happen in World War III? Oh, jeez, I just got out of politics, man. I know, you're going to come back to him. Oh, my goodness. Here's the year. Write down the top of your notebook, 2018. This is how it's going to play out. The United States attacks Russia for no apparent reason. Trump doesn't... Trump gets an agreement, disagreement with Putin. <laughs> what? And just bombs him. Do you even know how to do your <gasps> job? Kind of. I'm hired as a summer school teacher. Just bombs him. He's so aggressive <laughs> towards bombing Russia. He just bombs every part of it. Oh, crap. Every part of it. All of it. Every single last bit of Russia will be bombed. <laughs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> and that basically is almost how it's going to work out. <laughs> but then, I feel like firing back. They bomb America with everything they have. Like I'm hitting Canada. This is a very odd scenario on how it's going to work out, but we all know what year it's going to play out on. 2018, next year. Prepare while you still can. I may, I may not live. <laughs> so, yeah, Canada stays innocent. They're marked out of this war. We'll be claimed as winner. Okay, U-S-A will win, because USA is the best. Okay, teach. And now we have a couple other lessons. Uh... Hey, <laughs> you came, it was, you didn't have to come here if you just got your grades up and turned your homework in. Now I have to be strict, because you didn't get your homework turned in. So but now it's when I get strict to you. But my mama said, said I had good grades. Well, my mom's a liar. So. <laughs> Bump this! I am out. Hey, no, 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 no. I will have the police on your foot. <laughs> Sit back down in that chair. That's it. I'm going to the, uh, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> exactly, that's my job. One more lesson. One more lesson, and I can let you off for summer. Oh my gosh. So, Larry, how long are you going to keep this going? I don't know. You have summer school? And that's, what's mad that's what matters right now. And this is what will happen if Hillary was president. Oh my gosh. I know, right? It's pretty <sighs> pretty amazing what would happen because if I can tell you one thing, USA gone. Out the question. This marker is not good. <laughs> good thing I have my whole arsenal of Because then I can claim Russia winner. Because all they would do 
was boneless. Repeatedly. Non stop. Just yeet, 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 yeet. So, it's a good thing Hillary wasn't the president. Because that's what would happen. America? Gone. I'm going to leave Mexico with the question because by now, I don't know why, but... Well, Mexico is good people, so... <laughs> yeah, but I, don't think, I think Trump's bad. I think Trump begs to differ. That's what's going to happen. I think he just can just build a wall out of Legos. That he, can solve everybody's yeah. problems. He will build a wall out of Lego. <laughs> because he has no other money. But to, except for that $2 million his dad loaned him. Jeez. That is Trump's wall built out of Legos. <laughs> Simple as that. <coughs> he comes to play place. <laughs> Almost like the new Lego land. <laughs> Very political and odd. Oh yeah, we also have to get... Let it actually be the safe place. But then, soon they'd find out, and they bounce. Yeet, 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 <laughs> yeet, yeet. start on the zombie apocalypse. No! This is not part of your history. This is for fun. So, this is where it would start. If a zombie apocalypse ever broke out here, let's just, uh, let's just picture that. <laughs> this is what would happen when a zombie apocalypse strikes. Let's say it comes from Texas. In one day, they are gone. That, that's where A.J. Markle lives. He'd be gone in the day. <laughs> and, and Austin Miles, the Christian Viner. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, because he would also be gone in the day. Because all of them would be gone. And then it would spread everywhere. 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 Every single state would be covered with zombies. Oh. <laughs> okay. In a safe place? Minnesota. <laughs> Minnesota! <laughs> and then Montana's gone. Everybody's gone. Everybody, everyone, every single last person is gone, except for Minnesotans. A stay loyal stay. Don't move when you have an apocalypse. <laughs> um, is that it, Larry? Yes, it is. You may go home now. Uh, we are home, Larry. This is our house. <clears throat> except you may go back to sleep. Except that we're not brothers. We're just like friends. I know. And I'm like 10 years older than you are. Back up to bed. I'm like 16 and you're like, what, 9? Nah. But I was hired as a teacher. <laughs> so... I have more rights than you do. No, I'm just kidding. But like, if you were 10 years older than me, you'd be like 26. And I know half. I would be. Well, alrighty then. Whatever, man. Whatever.